Hey, welcome everybody. Patrick Batty here of Explaining Internet Marketing, and uh, we're doing one, another one of our interviews today. And today, I'm extremely excited to have kind of one of my buddies and one of my main mentors in internet marketing with us, and it's Sean Donahoe. How are you, Sean? I'm doing great, Patrick. How are you doing? I am doing great. I'm excited. I'm really excited to have you with me today. It's been a while um, since we've done this. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me let me take a sec to tell our listeners a little bit about you sure. before we kick in, and then we'll we'll talk about what we're going to talk about too. But hey, uh, just for the folks that don't know Sean, and I'd be surprised if any of you don't know Sean already. But hey, he's been around internet marketing for a long time. You know, he's been a, a product creator, uh, a trainer, a speaker, a coach. Um, you know, pretty much anything to do with internet marketing, you've been doing it, haven't you? How long, Sean, can you, re I can't recall that now. You know, we've actually been doing this uh, since the beginning of the internet. I started off with an IT company and uh, I, well, I built my own IT company and we started, I hate to say it, I was, a, I was one of those uber geeks. I was building entire, uh, doing network security with banks and stuff like that and corporate consulting work with yeah. lots of Fortune 500 companies and then uh, this whole new thing called the interwebs came around and I saw a lot of potential for marketing and getting people's businesses out there and the marketing departments were like oh no we want dancing monkeys on the television screen I'm like <laughs> no that's no look at this so um, you know they, they want they had, they had what's like I call the Madison Avenue mindset and uh, didn't really realize the potential of uh, the internet. So I've been doing this a long time. I've been helping Fortune 500 companies, startups of every size. I think we've been doing about 200 startups uh, that I've helped go from zero to massive success, multi-million dollars, uh, multinational corporations. And uh, then I kind of turned my back on the corporate world, fired all of my clients and started doing it for myself. And then uh, from that, I got kind of pulled into showing other people what I do because I, I built up multi-million dollar corporations for other people and took them from uh, zero to however many millions they wanted to make. And I thought, you know, that's great, but I'm doing that as a consultant and I'm only getting a small percentage of that. To heck with that. Let's build a huge empire. And that's what I did. And uh, yeah. then again, started showing other people uh, like yourself and other people who are motivated to you know, really want to start making some real money, how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, your background, well, well, I've been, I've been involved in computers longer than you, only because I'm probably 20 years older than you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I started in the computer industry in the early 1970s. But you went kind of independent well before me. Uh, yeah. I was in corporate, uh, you know, Fortune 1000 software companies mm -hmm. for my whole working career, but I only went into the internet marketing on my own about three years ago, and that's actually one, around when I connected with you yeah. uh, in some of your courses and things like that. So, so you know, even though I've been around the computer side, you're, you've been doing the relevant stuff a lot longer than I have, the relevant stuff to me and and to all of our listeners here too. So, Absolutely. So I, I respect your authority, and I've always enjoyed the uh, the training that I've 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 uh, received with you. Thank you. So, you know, one of the things that we're we're talking about, and it's actually one that's been an, a, a mystery a bit to me, mm -hmm. to be honest, is is um, AdSense. And yeah. just just to give a little background. Um, to you of what I've done with AdSense, I've earned twelve dollars, and <laughs> with AdSense, <laughs> and uh, and I, so I just wanted to brag about that. That I that's I a huge did. income. That's yeah. That's the I know that, that'll be well, by your coffee and a beer. I took the family out for a uh, uh, coffee, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that no seriously, I actually did venture into some AdSense oriented work about oh goodness about a year or two ago, but it was when one of the Google updates I can't remember if it was Penguin or Panda or one of those probably but, Panda, yeah, and, you know so one of them hit literally as I built my very first AdSense oriented site, and it kind of took a little wind out of my sails uh, because I put a lot of good articles in it that I thought were right and I, you know I mm -hmm. optimized them the way I thought was the, the right way and things like that and they literally uh, you know kind of hit the, the hit the uh, um, 
search engine rankings a little bit in in a couple days and then uh, about a week later they went down the drain and I had put a lot of work into it and I built a couple other sites but really I got nowhere I, I then I guess I would say I gave up on mm -hmm. that but I went into some other things that I was more interested in that provide a, for me mm -hmm. a lot more um, revenue sooner yeah. and so I kind of just shelved my ad since I, I actually have one or two of them lying around still and and you know maybe they've made another dollar or two since the last time I looked I don't know but but I've I've done squat I've done squat with AdSense so I was really when I when I you know had the opportunity to bring you on I really was kind of looking forward to hearing you know what's new with AdSense one because uh, I haven't dug into it in a couple of years now and I know you've got some uh, an upcoming product so you know I wanted to find out a little bit about it because maybe I will get back into it we'll you know we'll see right. Absolutely. So, so I don't know if you you want to do you want to kind of backfill a little bit for me? Sure. Um, the thing is, here's the thing: when you monetize your site, there's two ways you can really monetize it: it's passively and aggressively. And aggressive monetization is where you're actually trying to sell something, and you've got to convert your visitor to a customer, and they've you've got to take them from like a cold prospect, warm them up, sell them, and then get the money. The beautiful thing with uh, monetization with Passively is that you really don't have to do that much. Now, you can use AdSense, which is a great thing, because if they just click on something, you get paid. Um, right. the, the One of the biggest problems is, and you identified it correctly with Panda, is that they basically change the entire dynamics of search engine marketing in a lot of ways. And suddenly, everyone who had been doing you know mass link building and basically gaming Google in a lot of ways... Right. Boom, well, all their sites disappeared almost overnight. And it took the wind out of the sails of a lot of people, including myself. I wasn't immune to that. And we had lots of other things going on that kind of helped us a lot. But yeah, yeah. a lot of people got hit very hard with that. And then. Yeah, and it, it, in my case, it just happened to be when I started. So I just said, ah, to heck with it. You know, let's. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I learned a lot while I was doing those things. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, and and but I ended up getting into doing some services, and I moved on into services mm -hmm. as opposed to worrying about AdSense, and that's why I didn't get out. Of it. But it was just in my case, the timing was bad, right? The timing Absolutely. when yeah. they came out with that was just around when I was starting to do it. So, yeah, yeah, so that I was that was harsh. It was harsh, and it hurt a lot of people. And you can yeah. imagine someone like myself. I've got like anywhere from five hundred to six hundred sites. So when you take Ooh, a I large jump like that. And then some of them disappear. Now, thankfully, a lot of them didn't because I've yeah. got lots of other things I do that, you know, um, are diverse in all my experiments. And what I do is I do lots of experiments, learn what works, what doesn't, and then report and create a product or a solution around what works. I'm not one of these guys that go out and just say, hey, you can make a million dollars doing this. Uh, and then you find out that they have absolutely no idea how to market their way out of a paper bag. I actually yeah. walk the walk because I do it for myself. And then when I find yeah, what works, enough. boom, done. So what well, we somebody, did... If somebody was going to get into it, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I know you, it's always hard to talk about incomes because sure. you know, you don't know how much time and effort somebody's going to put into any project. Oh, so absolutely. Out, you know, you know, but, but if somebody really was going to dedicate the, you know, some time every month, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 hours a month, Mm -hmm. to, to, to building out a site. What, what, do you have any idea what kind of time that it would be or, your, or what kind of revenue they could generate from a site? Like it that? really depends because if you hit the right niche, you could get anywhere from uh, $10 a day to a site to 20 to 100 to 200 I've got a couple of sites that are generating over 300 to $400 a day. Uh, oh, nice. So, And again, all I'm doing is one or two posts to it a week. Now, I've got automation strategies I use. But the, yeah. the beautiful thing is, if you hit the right niche, you do some uh, background in terms of what keywords are worth it, and then if you do some good search engine optimization to get it up there in the rankings, and a couple of other things you could do as well. Uh, and also, one of the key things is making sure your ads and everything else converts. You, you've got to maximize that CTR, which is the click-through ratio. Yeah. I'll yeah. give you an example. And Patrick, you know this because I talk about this all the time. The secret of anything in terms of success is scale and automation give you a prime example if you have one site one adsense site it's got 10 20 articles on it or something like that and it makes you one dollar a day okay that's no income as far as i'm concerned 
That's a waste of time. But if you optimize it to where it's making five, 10, 15, 20 dollars a day, you're doing good. Now you've just significantly magnified as if you had 20 sites making one dollar a day. Okay? Yeah. But that's just yeah. one site. So you've optimized that. Now let's scale it up. If it's just to keep it simple numbers, let's say it's doing ten dollars a day. Boom, 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 boom. Now you replicate it and replicate it and replicate it. You do that ten times, you got ten times ten. That's a hundred dollars a day. That to a lot of people is job replacing income. Then you magnify it out. Over time, you just build a bigger and bigger network of these. Again, repeating exactly what you've done, where you've optimized everything, you've got the same framework. And then you start seeing your income skyrocket accordingly. Now, I'm, I'm an outsourcer. I love outsourcing because, uh, honestly, I just don't have time to do all this myself. And I have systems that streamline, <coughs> make life easy, and boom. I have people building those out for me, building content. The cool thing is that once you start seeing some income, you can afford to start doing that outsourcing part and letting your network grow. Now, you don't have to be like me, you know, 300, 500 sites or what have you. <laughs> yeah. You could you just start off with five core sites and you optimize them, you push them, and you start to see that full momentum. And once that momentum is going, then you can see, okay, great, now let me do that again and again and again. And you could do that 10 hours a month if you want to. If you just want to do half an hour a day, that's yeah. fine. And there's lots of ways that you can create great content you know even curated content works very well for adsense because google loves that it's not it, you know it's combining lots of content from all sorts of sources but that can help you create content just like that and that allows you a lot more time to focus on building up everything you're doing fair enough hey well you know there's probably some some people listening that have already got some adsense sites and they're probably doing a little bit better than me but um, you know, are, are there any kind of common, you know, mistakes or errors people are making when they're when they're working on their ads? Yeah, the, the, one of the biggest problems is ad positioning, and really? things people yeah. get AdSense blindness if they're not doing it yeah. the the right way. If they're not focusing on drawing the eye down to the ads, we, we read from left to right. That's the way we look at things. So if your uh, eyeballs are, are skipping over and you're, you're not coming in a diagonal pattern, you want your eye to fall as your hook based on those ads. And that yeah. wants to be the first place that you draw them to click. And if they do that, you're going to get a massive increase in revenue. The other thing is, if they're flicking through your site and going through many, many pages, they, they see the ad, and even if they skip over it, next time they click somewhere... Uh, they see, okay, well, that's an ad. They skip over it. But one thing we do is we maximize and test everything to make sure which ad positions work best. And then we randomize them. So every time it's a fresh layout. Oh, and, then yeah. our, okay. and This yeah. is one of the tricks is their eyes then <clears throat> really have to anchor to where they want to be. And again, it might be a new ad position or a new layout. And, yeah, the uh, old we, plugins that I used wouldn't allow any kind of randomization. Well, exactly, and this is the thing. The other thing that a lot of people do is they leave themselves with, uh, you know, their pants down for click bombers. Here's the thing: if you're in a competitive niche, say, let's use the example of a dating niche, and you've got a great AdSense site and it's doing great and it's ranking, one of your competitors will come along and then start clicking on your ads repeatedly. Well, it looks like you have a massive sudden spike in your activity, in your click-throughs, which is great, but it's all one IP. Google look, excuse me, Google looks at this like suspicious activity, right? and then they ban your account. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. and then lots of people have lost their accounts because of click bombing. So we have built some technologies that allow us to stop that, and that's okay. allowed us to, you know, with, with as many sites as we have, and I've got lots of students who are doing incredible uh, income with AdSense based on some of the strategies we share, and, uh, you know, they've had their accounts um, protected by some of the stuff we do because they've been victims of this. But what we yeah, do yeah. is we show the ad twice, for example. And if, if they click on it twice, great, we've got it. If they, if they try and refresh the page to click on it again, the ads disappear. Okay. No more. Yeah. And, it, and I'll so tell you right you're, now. You're just basically blocking the opportunity to do that. Okay. Absolutely. What you call that? Was that click bombing? Click bombing. It's one of the I highest had, threats for AdSense. I hadn't heard of it. Okay. Yeah. The other mistake people make is their AdSense policies. 
here's the thing that you by Google's terms of use uh, you have to have a certain disclaimer in your privacy policy it's called the okay. dart double click cookie and yeah. if you don't have that yeah. in your privacy policy they will, if they come and manually check your site and you don't have that they will suspend or ban your account so if you don't okay. have that that's a huge huge problem so again those two things are what puts 95% uh, of AdSense accounts at risk. So there's a couple of things like that that uh, you know I always make sure that anyone who's doing AdSense takes care of, and uh, you're good to go with that. But there's all sorts of things, again, you can do for optimization. We've got some strategies that uh, most people have never even heard of, but the cool thing is that that took, um, for us, our click-through ratio from 1% to 17% on many sites. Oh. Oh. I had one student who was applying some of the strategies that we teach. They had a click-through ratio of 27%. And they were so scared that that was going to look so <laughs> weird to Google, they had to go buy traffic to throw junk traffic at it to get that CTR <laughs> ratio down. And, I, you know, 27%, yeah. that's, that's absolutely insane. That's better yeah. than some of the stuff I've done. It's kind of funny how paranoid we all get with Google. Well, Google <laughs> is like the 700-pound gorilla in the room. And, and, yeah, and this, yeah, is, this yeah. is what happened with you, and it happened yeah. with a lot of people, is that, and I did it myself. I was guilty of this. I worked against Google. I was, yeah. you know, we all, I mean, search engine optimization, or SEM is the other name for it. Uh, they call it search engine marketing. It's not. It's search engine manipulation. That's what we're doing here. We're trying to you know, build links and do all this to get to the top of the search engines. Yeah. It's not natural. We're trying an unnatural approach. Well, I'm, what I do now, and this is what I recommend, is because of Google Penguin, Panda, Marmoset, Skunk, Weasel, whatever they're going to call the next uh, animal they have yeah. coming out, is work with Google. Don't work against them. High-quality yeah. content. Include webmaster tools. Include analytics. Because what you're doing to Google is showing them, hey, we've got nothing to hide. Your right. trust factor goes up, and then everything else falls into place as well. And the right. cool thing with using AdSense with analytics, you can see what's working, what's not, and then use those you know those metrics to work and optimize everything you do. The cool thing is Google wants you to make money, because when you make money, they yeah, make money. Exactly. You know, so I often wondered why they tried to make it so hard for everybody, but I it, there was so much crap out there and junk yeah, sites. Yeah, so yeah, what right. they did well, is kind of wipe the site clean. And the thing is, that's a huge opportunity for people who want to jump forward because guess what? They've just killed most of your competition. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, so if people are going to do it the right way. Um, the exactly. chances of uh, success are a lot higher than they used to be. Probably. Exactly. And if you do it right, if you focus on the authority side of things, which is what Google wants, then boom, work with them. Give them what they want, and they'll reward you for it. Yeah. Hey, well, you're, you're getting my enthusiasm back up. My 12 bucks is, uh, well, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I could get back to it again after, after that. And I actually have a couple domains all ready to go. So well, there you go. You never know. <laughs> what's uh, what's your upcoming uh, product called? Okay, I, we didn't really talk. We're about actually that. working. Here's the thing. Uh, again, a lot of people have been uh, kind of working behind the scenes, saying, "Hey, you need to share these strategies. You need to do this." And I thought, you know what? The problem is that I can share as many strategies as I've got trapped in my head. Which you you know me, Patrick. I, I'm, I'm like yeah. I'm like Rain Man for all this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah. so what I wanted to do was make it as simple as possible. So I created a piece of software. In this case, it's a WordPress plugin because most people work with WordPress. Sure. And then basically it includes three of my best strategies all in one plugin. It does ad rotation, like we just mentioned. It helps focus the eyeball on your ads. Uh, it allows you to optimize everything. And, and if you find that with your theme... Uh, one particular setup works best and produces the best results. Hey, no problem. Use that, and it optimizes everything accordingly, and you can change the weighting, so it uses this layout in particular for your site. Um, it prevents click bombing. Uh, it optimizes your privacy policy. It tells Google where you want them to focus on so that you get better targeted ads. Again, better conversions, which is what we're all about here. And we also have a very powerful little system called Search Siphon, where if they've gone through your page, they've skipped over your ads, 
and they've got to the bottom of the page and it's not quite what they wanted there's a little search bar this is in the pro version this is part of the uh, upgraded package but there's a little search bar there that says hey didn't find what you wanted search again what happens that taps into a very little known thing that Google has which is called their custom search we integrate that into WordPress so you use Google's custom search engine which is then laid with ads AdSense ads which you get paid on right and it's got that those ads at the very top and then search results from your site or Google and then boom gets a higher click-through ratio at the top very very powerful works like crazy and again all of that combined in one simple plugin that you can set up in five minutes so again for people who have got adsense sites or want to monetize their site with adsense boom you just literally throw this in throw in some adsense code set a few settings you're off to the races and again we've helped people see uh, go from zero to 420 dollars uh, in a month just with one site so they're seeing you know like seven dollars or something like that a month and if they're lucky but boom all the way up to 420 with one site with one imagine site. that with that's several okay. sites that's nice passive income for one site right that's exactly it and i've got another guy who's doing thirteen thousand dollars a month with adsense and he's been using my strategies before it was wrapped up in this um plugin but he's right. been using it for about a year now and he's doing thirteen thousand dollars a month so he had my original strategies. Now that he's actually got the plug-in version of it, it sent his uh, conversions even higher. So, right. uh, yeah, we've got a lot of optimization, a lot of stuff like that. And that's, to, that's not even my results. These are student results. My results, right. again, are crazy because I've got so many sites. But I wanted to keep it realistic and show what real students are doing as well. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah, if people started with 5, 10, even one site just to get going, to get you... Get familiar yep. with it, right? That that's fine. And that's what it's all about: is 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 test it, put it into action, see what right. the results are, and then you know optimize it, tweak it, magnify it, and then replicate it. Right, right, right. And what what are you calling it? It's AdSense Firestorm. The that's AdSense the name. Firestorm. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're, we're releasing it on the Warrior Forum just uh, because that's a great place to. Uh, there's yeah. lots of AdSense marketers out there who need this, and. Sure. Patrick, you, you you know a lot of people who know uh, who've seen me and know my products is my focus is on doing stuff that helps people get where they want to be. So for the people watching this, you know they've got AdSense sites, they've got WordPress sites, they want a little bit of extra monetization. This is a great way just to throw you know throw some extra monetization in there, and it either complements what you're already doing or adds it or becomes a completely separate passive income stream. And I love cool. passive profits because you can sit back. Just do a little bit. You're not out there cold calling, trying to sell something. It just sits in the background, works 24 hours a day while you sit my ties wherever you want to be. That's that's the lifestyle we all want. As a guy who's been in sales and marketing for almost 40 years, no cold calling. What what the hell would I do with my time? I, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> believe me, I've yeah. been there. Yeah, if I don't do any more, uh, I, well, I just I don't do it anymore. No, so so I, I'm I'm good with that. But I uh, this sounds wonderful. I I'll, I'll definitely roll with it uh, myself. Yeah, and you know I can I haven't got the results yet, yet, but I'll I tell you what I'm I have the before story. <laughs> so <laughs> well, we'll, so we'll help you with the after. Yeah. So hopefully we'll come up with an after story real soon. Perfect. So uh, anything else you want to mention? Uh, uh, launch date again was the launch date is December eighteenth, and uh, okay. you, you, that well as I say we're doing this as a what's called a dime sale, so okay. uh, the price goes up with every order. So if you want if you want to get a hold of it, the sooner you get it, the better. And yeah. uh, the main thing with this is, outside of whether you get this plugin or not, is don't disregard the power of passive profits. Um, everything we've been talking about today, look at things that you can do. Uh, that you can automate and scale. It's one of the best ways to make real money online without having to be a marketing expert, uh, ninja coder, cold calling and everything else. For most people, passive profits al just allow you to do so much. And for one thing, that I'll, and I'll tell you, this is why I got into this so heavily, is because it allows me to fund everything else I do. I can take risks that I couldn't take before trying different things out because I know I've got that passive income stream in the background which allows me to walk away from 
uh, the computer. I could take a month off or two months off, travel around the world knowing that, hey, I've got this, this income working for me 24 hours a day. So looking at ways to create real passive income is incredible. Now, AdSense, there people are saying, well, you know what? I've lost my AdSense account. Or I want, you know, are there any other ways to do passive profits? Absolutely. The cool thing with AdSense Firestorm, just as a extra thing, is you don't have to use AdSense. You can use any other ad network you want. Bedvertiser, Chiquita, uh, Amazon, uh, the Media.net, which is kind of Bing and Yahoo's version of AdSense. There's yeah. all sorts of things. And, and one cool thing, that which I'll mention, is that Media.net, they pay you for impressions, not clicks. So oh, really? if you okay. have, you know, for every thousand views, you get a certain amount of dollars. Well, that's great, which means you right. don't even have to have people clicking on your ads. You just have them displayed on your website. So right. that could be very powerful as well. So anything you could do to create a few properties, it's like Donald Trump real estate. Just create these core properties that act as your foundation. Learn some basic SEO. Again, we've got all sorts of stuff doing that. If you're a member of the Inner Circle, which is one of our premium um, membership sites, we have stuff in there that will help you with SEO. And again, connect with like-minded, success-orientated people. There's all sorts of things you can do. But again, once you've got all that as, an, as a package and you, you've kind of got everything rocking and rolling, it's just a case of optimizing and scaling and automating. And once you've got that down, you're off to the races. Well, cool. Hey, I'm mean, I'm I'm really actually I'm very motivated. I came into this honestly. I, I I'm I'm really honest. I had no interest in AdSense, but uh, I knew you knew what you were doing in this, and I, I hadn't been following AdSense oriented stuff from you lately. Oh, I've been going uh, underground with it for a while because I've been like, well, okay, and I what just works? wasn't paying attention. Even if you were, even if it was above ground, I wasn't paying attention to AdSense. Now that I know this. I can think. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a few domains that are already put together that we can. I you know I can I can probably put this on and at least get things going, and then we'll see if we can uh, ramp it up. And if it goes well, then scale it up like crazy. Sounds absolutely. great. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Be happy to. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks very much, Sean. I look at. I really appreciate your time today. I enjoyed it. I learned some things. I hope the guys that are listening and watch or watching our video uh, pick up get, uh, things as well. Thank you for the time. Wonderful to talk to you. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate uh, you taking time out of your day for this and, you know, uh, allowing me to uh, come and speak to everyone here today. And, uh, you know, again, I hope people have got some real good value from this, some real nice takeaways. And as I say, uh, just for one last shameless plug, AdSense <laughs> Firestorm is launching on December 18th. Uh, keep an eye out on your emails for that. We will be having some very interesting stuff, some really nice bonuses. And again, this is just in time for Christmas where people are looking to, uh, you know, add a little extra income uh, before and then after Christmas to pay for it. So what we've done is I've kind of put together a little bit of a Christmas package. So I've thrown in all sorts of other stuff in there as well that covers many, many different grounds and helps you get the most out of everything we've talked about today and literally learn from the ground up what to do and how to do it. So again, December 18th, go grab this when you can. So long. Take care.